Again. Episode 23 of Big Loud. Shout out to all my Nigerians. Shout out to you, all Nigerians. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea, on the mountain. Play on beats now. In the valley, on the land, and in. Up, up, Niger. We have to edit this part. We have, to, we have to edit this. I part. say inside the net, inside the net, eh, inside the net, inside the net. You know what? Over the bar, over the bar, over the. Oh my, yesterday was was amazing. Nigeria the way you were excited, England. yeah. You wouldn't even know we lost yesterday. Listen, I didn't. Re- but I just wanted us to score. I don't care that we lost. I just wanted oh, I'm to sorry. see. Let me rephrase that. You wouldn't even know that you guys lost yesterday. Yeah, listen. You keep begging friends. He sat with the England team. Can you imagine this guy? He sat with the listen. England team. Some people will go to the land just for passport. That's what they would do. To go and sit. In I already have passport. Well, I was just making sure it was fully secured. I already have one. But this yesterday, guy, this guy hasn't left the country since he came here, so I don't know which one he has. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm scared they might not let me back. <laughs> <laughs> do you see? Do you see immigration at the, at the train station? No, I'm afraid that you know. I, guy, I'm sure there were immigration. Immigration was at the stage train station. Really? Because there was doing there was um there was Wembley, England versus Nigeria, and there was mm. also the concert. Oh, SSC. One, one, one Africa. SSC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So immigration was at. Wembley Park. They were there. You know, you know that's a that's a bad thing though. That's a yeah, bad thing. Cold, isn't it? How can you bring immigration to where people actually come oh, out people, to enjoy the sun? People need bonuses though. So uh, they were like, all right, lads, um, our main target today. So, so anyone that messed up, yeah, the police wouldn't touch you if you were black. It's immigration that was going to touch you. All right, mate. Step over here for Step a second. Over here, mate. <laughs> Let's just see everything is clear. We just, we just need to talk to you. We're not. We're not the police, by the way. We're worse. <laughs> I'm not body. I'm not body. <laughs> but you know one thing, yeah. Yesterday, I think England had had part of the Barmy army. Mm. But Nigeria, we didn't sell our supporters club. Oh my! I think oh. they traveled to England. They didn't come to a stadium. Listen, I'm telling you, bro. It was. There was no trumpet, no drum. It was the, the, apart from the Nigerian side, Wembley was flat. Wembley was there, though. No, they tried to do the Mexican wave where, where I was. Yeah, for, for I saw it, just one one section did it. That was it. Because it was flat. It was you, flat. No, they were shocked in the second half. That's why. I'm talking first half, even when they scored. Yeah, they were playing like da na 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 da na na na. That's all they have. They take ba na na na. No, but that's no, all we have. Listen. Come yeah. on, England. The Come fact on, that England. There was more numbers. Yeah. When they scored, I should have felt Wembley should have been shaking a little bit, right? But it was just like, oh, okay, he scored. Da, 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 ba, 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 finish. Yeah, you, you know, I think it's the respect they have for the Nigerian football team. I want to sleep with respect. Sure. It is part more, of the respect. More, they more, they have this guy, him. not for your house. Yeah? For your house. Yeah, okay, I understand. But they, they did, they did. No, yeah, it was dead. For your house. Yeah, it was dead. It was, and they it's they a friend, it's the last game before World Cup. Come on. Like, no, it's not. They have another game on oh, Thursday, they? yeah, against Costa Rica, but I don't Thursday. think... Yeah. Not, be, not be World Cup be Thursday. No, 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 no. Ah, ah, my guy, World Cup is in two weeks. Oh, sorry. They have a friendly uh, against Costa Rica on, on Thursday. So, hopefully, is that Costa home? Rica will pose... Uh, that's it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think it's at home. It's up well, better They're not going to go all the way to Costa Rica You better be careful what you're about to say. Huh? You better be careful what you're about to say. What did that with? Uh-huh. Better think twice. I'm saying you... I'm saying maybe they'll pose a better, better threat. Who's, who's, who? Costa Rica. See this guy? See this guy? I'm just saying, but well done, Nigeria. Go second half, go on, go on, second half was good. Second half was better. Listen, listen. It, it was, um, it, it was, we went there as what Nigeria would normally do. Even even if we don't win the World Cup, mm. we win best dress, most hyped. I, I must say, yeah? I must say, most the kit was on point though. Like I had, I had my, I had my, my uh, reservations about the kit because I hadn't mm-hmm. seen it in person. Mm-hmm. But yesterday, I think the kits were too close. I think a bit. They were a bit close in what terms of the England kit and the Nigerian kit. In terms of white dominance I, of the white background, I think it was a bit. No, no, no. no. Well, that's well, what I thought. Guy, anyway. I need you. I'm going to take you to see my opticians. No, 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 no. I'm not saying they look the same. I'm saying you said it was playing, very close. Players. No, in terms of playing wise, like you know. When you're wearing white and I'm wearing part of white, oh, I God. just think so. Anyway. The sleeves was black. The top had yeah, but two arrows going different could I know, direction. I know. Which part was was close to the your fact eyes? that white was still a dominant color oh, in both jerseys? Oh my god, guys, we're just going to talk about what we're going to talk about because I, I would just flog this guy now. 
I, <laughs> I love Nigeria. Let me say. Okay. <laughs> and again, do you know what? This is not a personal attack on Onazi. Onazi, may you never start a game at the World Cup. Oh, allow it. Ever. I'm just saying. Listen, I'm praying out there. No, he's a young guy. He's got time. Onazi's not young. He's younger. The guy's not, not going to talk, talk his show. He's <laughs> not going to spread show. Onazi is not young. Not that special. Onazi is like minimum 35. Not that special. Okay. Onazi is minimum 35. Okay. With, with, with friends like this, who needs, who needs enemy? Who needs <laughs> immigration? <laughs> <laughs> Unless he's minimum 35. And the other guy in the Bro. video, the John, the other John Obi guy, I'm sorry, you're the most useless national international player ever. Ever. Watching you life was a disgrace. You're a disgrace. Like Drogba said, you're a disgrace. Nah, guys, you're, you're spoiling all these young guys. I'm not, I'm not spoiling Allow them. them, they need time. How old is Wobi? How old is Wobi? And the guy was but there are performing. In, 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 it doesn't in, matter, though. These guys have not. But they, he's they're young. Not, they're not used to that environment. He's Wobi, young. You, oh, Wobi plays for the Premier League. He's used to that pressure. Do you know what I mean? These guys aren't used to that same pressure. And one thing I must say, it will be he's he's actually a better player than I thought. Of course. He's a sick player. But the thing is that that's that's why that's why I get obviously we're gonna come into Mm. I'm gonna say this when we get into our topic. That's why I hate the press that they target people like Sterling. Yeah. Sterling is a great player. In person is such a good player. Yeah, he's such a good player. Such a good player, man. You guys want your press won't let him shine. And it's part of what we're going to talk about this, which is stereotypes and... uh, Why you look me? I'm trying to look for the right word. That's why I'm looking at you. Stereotype and... uh, I'm going to call it segregation as well. Okay. But I don't want people to think about segregation like sitting at the back of the bus. No, that's not the kind of segregation. I think people's understanding of that has has involved. Yes, it's fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, because... I like the things. No, you you know the one thing we've been... Told assume we do on the show is assume a lot. It's assume a lot. So I don't. We can't want help to... it. You know, I I can't help for I like I'm so used to some assumptions. I yeah. assume all, all the time. So I'm like, if you come from that self understanding, you should just you should yeah. Just, I, I understand you, you but it doesn't mean? mean our listeners or our viewers yeah, actually understand. I guess, okay, yeah, cool, so today we'll, we will be talking about stereotypes, racism. Not on a everything is wrapped up in racism, but mostly stereotype and segregation. You know, in the capital, which is London. Yeah, when it comes yeah, to crime, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Guy, we're about to say something. You're doing gang sign again. Ah, we're, we're talking, talking about, about gang, yeah, about about the the recent um sort of eroticness the media's found that gives them a hard on in the media this week. Yeah, and this yeah. the, that's the way I see. It. I see them. I see it as a hard on for the media because they've been it banging is. on and is actually saying how drill music increases gang violence. <laughs> Should I go first or do you want to go first? You can go first. Cause uh... Okay. My thing is, and a lot of people wouldn't agree with me, and I expect them not to agree with me, right? Mm-hmm. Saying drill music, right, affects gang violence. Like, it's one of the sole reasons for the soaring of gang violence lately in the capital. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I pulled some numbers, Yeah. right? And this is not about black-on-black crime. I hate that word, black-on-black crime. But... As we, I, maybe when you're talking, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to pull out the, the I, I I pulled out some screenshots in terms of statistics, statistics, statistics. Stats, the stats, right? The so, stats master. In terms of uh, there was a sharp increase in the number of homicides, yeah. Homicides or homicides, <laughs> homicides. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. Serious matter. In terms of homicides, right, up by forty four percent. Knife crime offenses up by twenty one percent. And robberies, violent robberies, up by 36% mm-hmm. in one year, right? Police have said there were 157 homicides in the last 12 months, right? Mm. And I think that's the back end of 2017 up until now, into uh, 2018, including eight deaths in London terror attacks. So we're going to leave all that part out. Yep. My point is, look at the, looking at those high numbers and looking at the population of the country, 70-something million? But that was just London specific. Yeah, that's just London. So looking at the population of the country, and I think London's about how many million? 10? Roughly. Roughly 10 million. And the amount of minorities in London aren't that. Black people in London, as much as we might think we're everywhere in Peckham, we're not that many, Mm. right? We're not responsible for all those figures. Mm. So saying that drill music is is responsible for the, you know, I can see it in a way, Mm. them saying drill music. And this is why I said people won't, People who are very sensitive about this whole black on black crime thing, who are working really hard, by the way, to let go, like to change people's views mm-hmm. on on the young change black the stigma, community yeah, and yeah. change the stigma. I don't want this to be like an attack on what they're doing. You guys 
are working so hard, even with lack of resources. Mm. I don't even want to say less resources. Lack of resources, right? But we can't totally ignore that the drill music is contributing. It's not helping the job of those people who are working really hard to do it. Now, the reason why I say the drill music can be said to be responsible, maybe for a minimum increase, because gang's always been there. Mm-hmm. Violence's always been there. Mm-hmm. Poverty's always been there. Mm-hmm. You know, this reason... That, but music is, as we all know, if you want to pass a message to a broader scale, mm-hmm. it's done via music. With those people who are controversial with this Illuminati stuff, they say music is the biggest way of transporting your message, right? Mm -hmm. If I come on a a, a track and I'm a gang member with a balaclava, you can't see my face, Mm -hmm. and I'm talking about a specific way of a guy being shanked Mm -hmm. or being doppied or whatever you want Mm -hmm. to call it, people who are hearing that music, Mm -hmm. who are also in the same circuit of what I'm doing, what I'm in terms of the gang life, Mm -hmm. They can understand what you're talking about because it's been done to their guy. Okay. So, so almost it's almost like a snitch on yourself music in a way, mm-hmm. right? It's almost like a snitch on yourself music. They hear that and they want to retaliate. So you can say in a way, maybe in terms of the, the violent part, the shanking and the killing, it is responsible because you make music, these guys don't play around. They make music about what they experience, what they do. And what you do by making the music and you sending out messages. You want other people to be aware of, like, yo, listen, we're not to be messed with. Okay, question. Yeah. Your favorite art, your, your second favorite artist is 50 Cent. Yes. Okay. And you love his, you love his second album, The Massacre, right? Yeah. You prefer that to that, we should get trying. Um, no, I don't. Okay. But I, I think it's up there. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. All right. Has, listen to that and being a fan slash mm. almost a groupie. Yeah. Has that almost... <laughs> <laughs> oh... I'm saying that because obviously I, I know you a little bit well. Okay, time. okay. Has that ever, ever wanted to make you, has any of those songs or has that feeling ever made you want to commit a crime? Yes or no? Just yes or no? No. Okay. Has it ever, ever made you want to sell drugs? No. Okay, cool. So right now, yeah. there's, there's a lack of responsibility mm. that, let me finish off my sentence. Why? Why not? Does it make me admire him? Yes. In terms of what he's done, as a gangster, like, oh, this guy's a mm-hmm. pure gangster. Mm-hmm. Like, if I was in fight, this is the guy I'm going to call. Yes, yeah. it made me admire that as it As it made you want to be a gangster? Um, no. Why not? Because I, I, from, from jump, I, I was not in that lifestyle. Okay. So that's the, I think that's where... But you could have different. been in that, in that lifestyle. Um, I could have. Okay. No, no, actually, no. To be honest with you, I couldn't have. I really couldn't have. Okay. I really couldn't have. I know you're going to say, yeah. Well, I'm I know, I'm not going to say, I'm but okay, I couldn't cool. have. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah on okay. the cult side... In Nigeria, yes. Okay. But like the everyday gang, no. Mm-hmm. On the what do you think yes. was a main influence for you not committing to a gang? My background. Okay, cool. So I can see you're trying to get to my point. Eh? Yeah. All right. Mm. All right. And um, figures, role models. Real, yeah. Real role models. Yeah. All right. There's, there's that. There's that missing. So do I have the answers? No. Do I feel like um, drill music plays a part in? in the increase of knife crime, mm. crime in general? Mm. Absolutely not. Because if, if for us to say that, then, you know, we being 90s and 80s babies should, yeah. should be affected by that because yeah. the, the music we listened to was heavily drug orientated. Heavily, heavily. Heavily, he, hev, heavily um, crime orientated. And that's why I side with you. There are a lot of rock songs which are worse. Yeah. Like, that, we're talking about dark punk rock songs like what which are worse. Like, and whatnot. Like, and someone, uh, what's the name of this guy that does the BBC show? Uh, he, he sat with uh, Akala, like, last uh-huh. week. He said, some, of, some guys were actually saying, you need to listen to what uh, Marilyn Mason was saying on the track yeah. in terms of gutting people and even when you watch in uh, bodies, when you watch the Defiant ones, they yeah. even show a yeah. clip of how rap never gets that vigorous. Yeah, rap they even show guns and they never show the gun popping off. That's what I'm saying. Is that for, it's, and it's, I, a, it's a lack of responsibility. And I understand that part, but my part is we can't sit here and totally deny that. Of course, absolutely. Like new music I, it, it is does, and the new. Are you no, hearing what some of listen, these tracks are about? I never ever heard. Okay, I understand. Maybe I'm, 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 I'm far removed from that. So I had to go and listen mm. up to what drill music was because I, I, I don't even know what drill music is. 
right? And even that... It started as the Chief Keith thing, but they brought I, it to the yeah, UK I don't now. know. I don't know Dream Music. I never heard of Dream Music no, before. No, it's, it's one of the most violent tracks I out there so I, that uh, you can listen to. So I went to go and listen. Yeah. I went to get, and get clued up on it. And for me, it's like, even if you listen to it, it does not make you want to do any of those things. There's, it just, and nothing in there sends a message of this is what you should go and no, do. No, but it sends a what... message of retaliation. Yeah, but that stands, retaliation stands from something else. This is what yeah. I'm saying. We're not, we're not getting deeper. We're not getting to the roots. We're taking stuff out as a, on surface base, yeah. right? We're not, we're not figuring out why, you know, in, in our community, majority of black men don't have responsibility of their child. We're, we're, yeah. not, we're not talking about stuff like that. We're not going into deep roots in terms of why children are having kids. Yeah, right? yeah. There's, a, there's a deeper meaning why we as a community we tend to fight each other never come and we don't come together as much as other communities we're not having structured conversation that no I, I, and don't get me wrong and, and what we're doing is that it, and what and what the mass media is doing is that well these guys can't get their ish together yeah we're going to throw out there yeah what we believe according to stats because there's an increase on this mm. type of music. Yeah. Right? There can be an increase. Listen, there's been an increase of pop music and talking about fairy dust and be happy. That's never made me want to be happy. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Wow. Do you know Continue what I mean? from last week. Okay. Do you, do you know what I'm just saying? Yeah. It's like, well, on the flip side of that coin, there's been loads of great music that's not had that same saying on. That same the thing is, I think... An economical stance. Like, we, we talk about Jay-Z came out with 444 that people could have said, well, that relates to... You know the mm-hmm. album of Off of coming up now. Black black people are being yeah, and now and, and now conscious. No, of and and, and this is why I said I agree. I will I will agree with you know some things I've been said in it. Again, please don't get my message wrong. Drew music isn't to be blamed, right, for the background of where people come from. It isn't to be br- blamed for the gang culture. It isn't to be blamed. Any form of music isn't to be blamed for the gang culture. You know the drug culture or whatever. It is not. Unfortunately, this music has now become a, med- a medium of transportation to get messages across to either rival gangs. Yes, we can't deny that. Does that increase in terms of like retaliation? Yes, it does. But it's not responsible. Mm. It's okay. not responsible. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I see what and you're saying. for me, what, the reason why I'm saying this is I've read a lot of tweets, I've read about a lot of articles, listened to a lot of things saying, oh, we can't, why, why is it that we try to ban? Yeah. The easiest way for the Met to deal with this, because right now they have no control and they are sh- they should be ashamed of themselves because they, they, they the government, not the Met police, the government should be ashamed of itself because cutting jobs and not letting this police be able to handle the, the, the business properly is one of the biggest effects of this. London isn't a big city. It's not a big city. How are they losing control? I mean, yeah, it's not a big city in terms of mass, but it's a population. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. In population, it's, it's it's it is, but it, it is... Yeah, it's, that, there's like, a lot of intelligence it's, now. It's, it's a tiny place. Yeah, but there's a lot of intelligence in place, right? I mean, yeah, I, I, guess I, I agree with you in terms yeah. of the government's definitely lost it. Yeah, so I, blaming I, Drew Music is nonsense. Yeah, it is saying, nonsense. That's what they should be doing. It's like, okay, they should be taking stance and go, you know, this is actually our fault. We've messed up with cut fundings in terms yeah. of policing, right? And they yeah. know you want to go into stop and search, but yeah. before we go into stop and search, like when I, when I grew up in, when we used to live in Hackney, Right, we even though we was always on the street, yeah. you know, biker boys or whatnot, we always had something to do, right? Violence only stem from um, a, um, a lack boredom. of opportunity and boredom, and um, we didn't, I, yeah, just the devil makes mm. work for idle hands. Yeah. So, but we always had this adventure playground. Mm. Like everyone in that in that estate used to go to. Everyone, that's how you got to know everyone. Mm. Like, mm. We always to go. To that, S, to that adventure park where we used to ride our bikes. Mm. And a lot of those parks have been closed down, right? Due to funding. Due to, especially especially um, during the Olympics time, right? We're still mm. recovering this. Funds that were pulled out from those sort of projects that went into the Olympic Stadium being built. Yeah. So with those funds, even though the Olympics been done in... Four years. Do you know what I mean? Six the building's four. partly Six owned, right? They haven't reinstalled those funds back into the communities that yeah. were taking off. So those are conversations that, you know, we should be holding our government accountable mm. for, especially within our community. It's like, okay, cool. Like, you want these kids to do what? What do you want? How do you police? Okay, cool. Mm. They're bored. The only thing that they can do is come together as a group, 
they might have fun and then one thing can lead to another. Someone introduces something that's exactly. not meant to be. And, you know, and because they know what to do, it's like, okay, cool, after school, this is what we're doing. Hence why I think you can understand or anybody listening or watching can understand the fact that I said that the Drew music has become a vehicle to pass on messages, negative messages. Mm. Yes, as it, will it add, would, if I send a negative, so let's say here, God forbid I stab someone because I'm in a gang. No one's ever been stabbed. <laughs> no one's ever been stabbed, yeah? No one's ever been... Hold on. No one's ever been stabbed. But then I eventually do it against another gang, right? Mm-hmm. And then I put in my music, and they hear it like, whoa, that's how my boy died. Mm-hmm. Now, out of a 100% clean record, yeah? Oh, sorry, 0% murder rate in mm-hmm. this particular square is gone up to 100 because I've killed someone now. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, it's gone up by 10 because I've killed someone. Basically, imagine there's a... Yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they retaliate and God forbid they kill me. That's You're looking at 20%. Because mm-hmm. they've heard in the music, even though the police can't get to the root, they don't know who did it. Mm. But now I'm saying that and they realise they can put two and two together. Like, wow. This gang man this, gang man that. No, Listen, no, this is what this I'm guy, saying. Let me tell you something. Like, with yeah. all due respect, these guys aren't too clever, right? We're giving them way too much credit. Way too much credit. It stems from all of these things, yeah. What I'm trying to say is that it's okay to try and say, okay, drill music is having an effect yeah. in terms of how the message is being perceived, right? Mm. But to then say, oh, drill music is one of the reasons why crime is increasing. You can't say it's one of no, them. It's I think not, it's, it's, a, it's, it is it, one of them. It's not, even if it is, it's such a minute number, right, that it wouldn't even count for anything. Yeah. That's the way I see it. No, it's because, not responsible for the whole crime. No, I'm because we know we I'm know why people res- commit more crime than I'm, black people I'm, in London. I'm just talking within our community. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking within our community, right? Forget about London. And I'm home, happy we're going to keep right? it in our community. We're talking yeah. about our community, right? Even if yeah, it's still just a minute number because a lot of this. When you sit down and I talk, you talk to this 13 year old, you talk to this 12 year old, you talk to about this 15 year old. Why mm. is he in a in a, in, a, in a gang? The first thing that they're going to tell you is that it makes me feel like I can be who they have a family oriented yeah, yeah. principle. Which is, a, it, right? by the way, if you're listening to this and you are, it's a facade. <laughs> right. But it really you, is a facade. You can say that. You can say that, right? Until you go to jail, you know. No, but okay. you Yes. But in that very moment. They feel that, connected. It, yeah. They feel connected. They feel like they have something special. They feel like they have a bond that they can't get anywhere else. Mm. Right. Fair so enough. That alone is what we should be looking at as a community to go. Okay, what can we offer them that as an alternative, as an alternative, that will have sort of the same result yeah. and same feel factor, same of the same emotional belonging mm. as it would for them to be within a, yeah. a gang. And if they were in a gang, how do we as a community make that gang responsible mm. for their action mm. in terms of? raising up our, our our kids. Our kids are being raised up by television, by television and, and, yeah, and music and so-called music. So it's like, okay, cool. Yes, where everybody wants to come into this drill thing and it, mm. and it gets on my so-called nerves. It gets to me so much. And the thing is, the thing because is... I always feel like we're, we're just, sorry yeah. to cut you off here, but I always feel like it's just, it's just a wishy-washy way of saying that wishy-washy. we don't know what's going on. We don't want to find out. No, no, no. We all, know, we all know the government will always find a way to deflect. No, but I'm saying that. But we, knew, we, we all know the real problem. I know, it. but I'm seeing this within our community now. Is that, okay, now that... It's like the same... We're, we're going to go into stop and search, but yeah. it's, it's the same thing with what happened with, with Sterling, with the whole gun tattoo. Yeah. Right, and then the... I'm, and that's the stereotype I'm, I'm talking not, about. I'm not going to criticise this wo- woman because she's done a lot with him for the community, especially yeah. since her son passed away. Yeah. But she was one of the people that was criticising Sterling for having a gun tattoo. I'm like, no, first of all, woman, get your house in order. Forget about what Sterling Ouch. is doing. <laughs> no, it's true, because yeah. I, you, I, might come, I might come as aggressive as I want. Yeah. But, you know, we come of, of, from a family where I believe that our parents are, did enough mm. for us not to be fall victim to that. Yeah, yeah. Right? And as much as they were hard enough, mm. as much as they were hard on us, they still took responsible for our actions. So it's like, okay, cool. Sterling's getting a gun tax. Cool. That's, that's Sterling. That's fine. That's on him. But you as... That's what he as, wants to yeah, do. Yeah, you as a community activist shouldn't be attacking one of your own in, in, in a mass media format. Right? If that really... If, if that's something that really hurts you, Right for where she has risen to, mm. it's very easy for her people to get in contact with Sterling. Sterling's people and have that dialogue and have that conversation. For you to then put it out there on mass media for the white media to then take that and run with it mm. and, and call it and call it gold. It got to me so much. It's like, 
Yo, like people have done way worse than I that. I didn't even know the lady actually attacked him. Yes, before. of course. She was who, who's she, this lady? She, um well she was oh, I can't remember her name. But basically her her son got killed about a year and a half ago, um, by gun crime. Okay. Uh, and she started up a charity based on, you know, trying to help people in the gang culture and help people yeah. um So was the son in a gang? Yeah. Well she was saying no. But we I, all know. I'm sorry. That's another thing. You but know, we all know that. You know, know the, the Nigerian senator's g- son who got gangs, killed. Gangs don't gangs don't kill people that are not. In the you know. You know. You know. You know the Nigerian senator guy, the mm-hmm. uh, son that got killed. Um, I think early this year. I don't know. So he got shot by his car because um, when in he was car. a lot younger. No, by his car. When he was a lot younger, he got he, shot he, by his car. No, he got shot by by like next to his car. It was. Oh, he got shot car. next to his car. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So. He testified against a, ga- uh, a gang of boys who tried to rape a girl. Mm-hmm. And they got done for it. They got years. But mm-hmm. they came out and they tried, allegedly, yeah, yeah, they've yeah. been threatening him and they mm-hmm. eventually got to him. Mm-hmm. He's not in a gang. He's actually a sports person, but he got killed, I think, early this year. The thing is, one people need to realize that when you watch the news, and I'm... I'm looking for a very good way to say this. It's not about being politically correct, but it's about being straight. Mm. When someone gets shot, people don't go about shooting people randomly if it's not a violent robbery. Mm. Let's understand this is England. It's not America. It's not America. People don't just get shot randomly. Mm. And it's about high time that the first thing of, about sorting out a problem is admitting that there is a problem. So when someone gets shot, pictures say a lot of things. Mm. Not everybody who dresses like a roadman is a roadman, but 90%, there is a chance that the person's a roadman. Not saying 100%. Okay. In my opinion, by the way. Now, if someone gets shot, it's not a random. Let's get that clear. Yes, it might be a stray bullet. Yeah, we've, we've seen cases we've of that. We've seen cases of that. But if someone gets shot, it's not by mistake. Let's 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 be factual on that. So when they say he's your son a uh, part of a, of a gang and you say no, but listen, hold on, he got shot, not because he was mm. a collateral. Mm. He got shot, yeah. and then you're think, on TV saying yeah. no, and then you want to criticize another person whose father actually died from gun Don't crime, shot, yeah. and he's saying this is the reason why I never ever put my hands on a gun. So I tattoo it on my leg to remind me that I am I am actually doing. Can he? To be fair, like uh, fair enough to Sterling that he yeah. he explained. He didn't have to explain he didn't. that. If, if but that I was, think he had to. Just, just for to the be honest, let, this, this, this is what I'm going to come to in terms of taking responsibility yeah. Yeah, for your own child and you know how you cultivate and how you raise your child. Yeah. Listen, Sterling is a young man. Sterling is not a role model. Sterling is a young professional footballer. Right, that plays football. Yes, he's on a big stage. Yeah. And yes, you know, our kids, what we see, yeah. um, for some reason, influence this children. I'm not yeah. going to be ignorant yeah. to say it doesn't. Yeah. Right? But... We can't. I cannot hold Sterling accountable. Responsible, yeah. No, for, I can't. For some, for having a gun tattoo and then going, oh yes. What about people? Same that way, have, I can't hold Beyonce responsible for for my for my daughter twerking. Yeah. What about people that have tattoos of like with with, with devils and uh, and cannabis and whatnot? So are we gonna? Does anybody them? even know who Martin Skettle is? Bruh. Have they seen the the, the tattoo of Martin Bruh. Skettle? But in terms of what you just said about the whole gun thing, I think in the UK. We can sort of paint this picture of saying if your mm. if your child gets killed by a gun because of how it's 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 a little bit difficult to get a gun into this yeah. country. So most people that have a gun have a gun knowing what they're going to do with an intent. Yeah. In terms of knife crime, on the other hand, I do believe that um, people might get you don't you don't have to be in you a gun. You a might game. just be um, you might just be you had a conversation in yeah. school and it went wrong and that spilled over to you know outside of school and yeah. you know. Which That's I think should quickly link us to 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 the stop and search thing. Now we both saw a video during the week of yeah. this guy riding a bicycle and a guy trying to pull out. At least this is what the video says, pulling out of a parking space. Then he hits the guy's bicycle. Mm-hmm. But I want to feel like they kind of traced him there. Mm. But, That's where the video comes yeah. from. Yeah. So, but the video shows this guy pulling out a parking space, right in in Croydon, I think. Mm-hmm. And he hits this guy's bicycle, and this guy gets off the bicycle, and he pulls out. A, a, I can't even call it's not even a knife it's a ramble a knife is what you use to cut onions <laughs> bro it's, it's, a, it's a military it's, grade it's, it was so big like I'm like how did you even tuck that in without worrying about cutting yourself bro and he's hitting this guy's window bang bang goes to the other side pulls the door this guy manages to get away now imagine if that guy didn't get away we're talking about a knife this size would have been buried inside that guy 
and taken out, wiped off, mm. and used on another person, by the way. Now, when it's when it comes to the matter of stop and search, I know how sensitive and uncomfortable it is. We've all been a victim of it. We've all been, not even I don't want to use the word victim. We've all been in that position where we've been stopped randomly and searched. Have you been in a position? Sorry, dumb question. <laughs> but yeah, we've all been in that situation. You, for me, I think about three or four times personally, right? Uh-huh. But this doesn't change my view on on what I'm seeing recently. Mm-hmm. Maybe the way I'm going older, yeah. the older I get, mm-hmm. I see the reason why. Obviously, maturity plays a role. So, someone's walking around, around with that kind of knife. In a way, if you want to stop something, you have to not give people a reason to do something. Because if you, if, if, if I keep saying like, I think you might be a thief and you keep going, no, I'm not a thief. And then you steal something. And then, because I can't confront you personally and say, you stole this thing. And I'm like, you know what? Because they're, all of you in this room, and I know someone stole my stuff, I'm going to start searching everybody. It makes everybody uncomfortable. But are you going to find what you're looking for if you do? Most likely. Now, these guys are walking around, and we've seen credit cards being flipped around and turned into knives. We've seen combs being turned into knives. Listen, they're getting creative. It's getting very creative. So you said earlier, like, we're giving them way too much credit. These guys are smart in a devilish way. Yeah, I, I mean, I, that was... Don't take my... I what know, I but what context. I'm saying is... People need to stop campaigning about stop and search and trying to say, do they stop and search white people? Listen, we're talking about our community here. We're okay. talking about our young lives. And that's what worries me the most. Like, every time this thing comes around, it's like, we start to talk about other races. Other, other communities. I don't want us to talk about I want us to talk about our race. I mean, for me, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of, of stop and search because yeah. of, you know, the experience I had growing up. And um, how many times I have been stopped and searched, even up to today. Yeah. Um, the reason I don't have that is because I always feel like, you know, when when once we allow room for that, mm. there's always going to be room for abuse. And I have been abused during yeah. stop and search. Do you know what I mean? When I was growing up, really? And, uh, of course, a lot of. Do you want to talk? No, not really. Okay. Um. So I I would hate for that to be. Um, a family member of mine or to be a child yeah, of mine or yeah. to be a cousin or a relative of mine yeah. to pass through that. Now, the success of Stop and Search in the UK, um, I mean, compared to America, I mean, it, it's done, it's been good. Let's, mm. let's be real. Let's also be real with our communities that Stop and Search has played a huge role in terms of decreasing life crime. Mm. Um, but I also feel like if we're going to talk about Stop and Search, we also have to talk about the vi- the verdility of the officers. Yeah. Right? I also feel like if we were to do stop and search, yeah. we also need to... Also Get officers from that same community, basically. Not just same it. community, but also have our kids and our youth and our adults being educated on, mm. you know, where the line is. Yeah. And I think that would be the first of the things that will need to happen. And thirdly, so I think... So basically, you want the kids who are going to be stopped and stopped and searched to know their rights. Yeah, so what can I just, be done yeah, to yeah, them what, what can be done so that yeah. you don't be abused, so that someone doesn't plant something into you, yeah. someone doesn't... Like, don't get... Like, p- police are human beings. I use. Fam, I know the same. I know where you're going. I've when, experienced when, it. You know what I mean? When, when, I was, when I was growing up, like it was this guy that we all, this police officer that had, had a grudge yeah. against us. Yeah. Right. And um, you know, there was a few experiences that went that didn't go right for, for one of my friend. Um, and for me, it's like okay, we just didn't know what our right was. Mm. Right. We didn't know what we was able to say, what we can say. Mm. We didn't know, and obviously because your your youth. Right, you you feel like you're exuberant, can overpower certain situation, yeah. and that's never ever the case, especially when it comes to n- police officers. Mm-hmm. And I also feel like the third thing that would need to happen for us to have a successful stop and search mm-hmm. within our community within London is also have make sure every single police officer yeah. carries uh, around, uh, not just vetted, but also have a, a onboard camera. Yeah. On board camera. I think that's I think that's the only I, way it's I gonna think, be I think that's always yeah. gonna be consumed. Yeah. But easier. this is what I'm saying to you, but rather than this solution being pushed forward, a lot of this a lot of black activists, which they're doing great jobs, mm-hmm. great amazing jobs, right? And I'm gonna mention again, due to the lack of resources, they're still doing a great job, by the way. Mm-hmm. They're fighting the stop and search rather than saying, We need this. I mean <sighs> It, I, forget, I think like, for us for to say the word we need this, I think those two things, three things, maybe two out of the three that I just yeah. said needs to be in place. Yeah, that's for what I'm us saying. to say we need so it. So we need but this, those things. But these going. are the things that have to be on your end. But you understand what I'm saying? Okay, cool. But yeah, you have to understand how politics works. 
Yeah, I know, I know. I'm not uh, naive to it. I okay. am not naive to it. So, yes, yeah. I... But the same energy we used to fight this whole thing, we can fight with that same energy and say, do you know what? We need this in our community. But for you to be able to even do it, number one, we want police officers who grew up in this community and can understand where these kids are coming from. Mm. You understand? They mm. understand some way of how they think because they they grew up in that community. You can't just go and get Bob from... Man from, like Bob. Shout well, to you Bob. can't get man Bob. like Bob from Newcastle yeah. to come to come vet kids in, in, in East London. Yeah. He doesn't know how the community works. He doesn't understand them. So he's more prone to see defending himself violently as a way of combating dealing with, you know, a kid from, from like maybe South or East London or mm-hmm. West London. Mm-hmm. So you need to get people who are in and around the community almost the same experience if you like. Right? Yeah. Body cameras. These are the things where we should rather than say, oh, it's stereotypical. Yes, it is stereotypical. Yes, it is, it is segregated. But are we not tired of our kids being mm-hmm. in the newspaper? Because guess what? When white people kill each other, they don't make the front page. They don't. We True. do. We do. Listen, it is so much more lu- um, lucrative to report black on black crime or even just black crime, period, than to report. White people, when they say, oh, another white person is being killed in Lancashire and they put the picture of the house, he burnt the whole... When white people commit crime, they go full on. <laughs> I'm sorry. They go full on. Yeah, it's true. Did you I, hear the case of the guy that, shot, that yeah. shot another boy's father by his door and told the son to take the rap? Yeah. That's one thing you never find in a black community. I mean, like, yes, we, we're not going to compare crimes. We're not comparing crimes, 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 but that was in the middle page of the yeah. paper. Um, I mean, stop us. Like, from personally, I've... I've n- it's not something I can hundred percent push out mm. um, and say we sh- we should have it. But at the same time, when I when I on the flip side of the coin, when I when I've spoken to a victim, yeah, um, a family who was a victim with their child yeah, got killed yeah. um, due to a knife crime in um, Pisa Gogo. I mean, I'm pretty sure that woman would have been happy if. They were stopping search. They were stop, that, that's stop a stop life beat thing. Yeah. And the knives they carry around, they're not tiny they're not, knives. They're not playing. So yes, yeah, stop and search in our community is definitely something that we need to relook again. We need to... You're saying relook. To be honest with you, I'm going to give you my opinion right now. Yeah, I think it's definitely... We need it. I don't, but some things have to be put okay, in place I see, for it to be fair. Okay, I, didn't, that's not, I think that's still... Before we get there, mm. there's still the... There's, there's, there's still an underlying conversation that still needs to be had that we as a community need to take responsibility for. Yeah. Yes, stop and, cr- stop and search is one way of dealing on a surface area, mm. right? It's one way of dealing with it on the surface area where there's kids, where we can reduce knife crime. Mm. But before we even get to that, it's okay. A lot of discussions have to be had. Why, we, why, we, why, why, is a, why, why does a 13-year-old, 14-year-old, 16 year The reason, why, the reason why I would say that can't come first, I think... At least stopping this killing needs to come first. You, to be, you, you, it's not going to be stopping. You're going to reduce the number. Well, the killing is okay. still going to happen. The killing is still going to happen. Reducing these numbers has to come first. <laughs> okay. and let, we're not going to make a mistake about what the black act, senior activists in America did during the time of the Clintons, uh, Bill Clinton, mm-hmm. and say, okay, harsh reform, send everyone to jail. We're not, we're not looking no, for but that kind that's, of drastic measure. Yeah. That's not what, but something has to be done to reduce this, this gang killings and everything. You're, you're, you're right, but I don't think the answer is stop and search. I don't think immediately, if we're to say, okay, cool, this is the next focus, next focal point, mm. right, to try and reduce what's happening. Mm. I don't think the answer is stop and search. Fair enough. I think this stop and search will only ignite and fuel more negativity, yeah. which would then lead to these kids finding out a more creative way of carrying a weapon on them. I, I, to be honest, and this is what I'm saying is essential. I think we're going to agree to disagree, and I think it's yeah, a good platform to be to be on. Like, let us know what you think. Is so, do we need stop and search, or do you think it's not necessary in our community? Uh, the influence of drill music in in the life of young people. Uh, what, what's the other thing we spoke about? Segregation and stereotypes in terms of picking on you know young black kids to be to be set as example for all negativity. Uh, but when they do good, no one hears about it. You know. There, there, there are a lot of black geniuses, young black geniuses, but unfortunately for us, we don't. The media doesn't want to talk about that, and that's a stereotype. And that's a segregation yeah. of news and positivity versus negativity. I was talking about, like, it's something that we need to actually, you know, address. And I think as just black people, I think we need to do more as a community, young, old. Of course, we young, definitely. Um, no, I agree with you. You know, we, we just need to be better. Pers- I don't care about. Let's stop caring about what the Asians do. Let's stop caring about what the white people do. You know, 
if you have a problem in your own house, you won't point to your neighbor's house because that's this is your house. And we need to stop comparing statistics with other races. Yes, a lot of crimes happening in London are responsible. The other big crimes, big crimes. The other races are responsible for that. Let's be very factual. Let's be very factual. We don't control the drugs. Let's be very factual, but we're not going to go into that. But let us take care of our own house. That's my point. Mm. Let's take care of our own house. I second you on that. I definitely think that we as a community need to take more responsibility mm. more responsibility for our actions. I definitely that we as a community need to be a little bit more clued up on stuff as well. And, yeah. you know, this, I'm telling you, this kids is a cry for help. It's a cry for help when a 13-year-old decides that the only way he can feel better is to join a gang. It's, it's not even to join a gang. Is to stab somebody, right? The only way he can feel there's some form of redemption is to go and take someone's life. Mm. It's a cry for help. It's a it's a, it's an absolute cry for help. Or that a innocent child, once innocent, can be flipped due to his environment yeah. to do something so hideous as taking another another man's life, well, another yeah. child's life. So yes, yeah, definitely cry for. It. I think that's where we're missing out. Is like yeah. you know. You know, we might come from a little bit. I think we're a little bit more fortunate that mm. we come from a culture yeah. that is heavily family orientated and heavily grooming your child. Helps, yeah, grooming your child. Yeah. But you know, now we need to try and implement that into our communities. Yeah. Right? We need to be. You know, I talked to you earlier. I think there's to, more... to be honest, I think maybe on the next episode we will just talk about the things that could be responsible for this whole. Family orientation kids are finding in gangs right now. I think we should, that's the next thing we should. Probably I mean, touch yeah, we we have someone to talk about. I, yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think we we'll, we'll bring someone on, on, on our program. So, guys, please that. let us know what you think. Please uh, leave your comment below the YouTube videos. Uh, I think for the mental health, there was a few comments that were like, you know, very very good. Uh, shout out to Tofi and uh, is it Jack and Anne? Thank you, guys. Please, please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. Uh, at Big Loud Mouth on YouTube actually uh, Big Loud Mouth is all one word not to be mistaken with a Netflix show I think, uh, it's everything everything is Big Loud Mouth word. underscore one word everything. one word so uh, thank you very much again for your time thank you for watching us thank you for listening to us I'm Tola I'm and this is Big Loud Mouth love you